Tonight, California still on high alert following the latest wave of severe weather. In Malibu this morning, a massive mudslide shutting down the Pacific Coast Highway during the rush hour commute. Rancho Palos Verdes now declaring a state of emergency. The relentless rain saturating the soil, accelerating the already moving land, causing damage to homes, streets, and water mains. This land out here has moved up to seven feet in the past 15 months, three to four feet in just the last three months. And this right here, this is the impact. These massive cracks in the earth, this popular scenic trail getting washed away. Along the coast, massive homes teetering on the cliffs. And then I looked up and I was like, wow, that all came tumbling down. According to the USGS, with sea levels rising, Southern California could lose up to two thirds of its beaches by 2100. Where we Geologist in, Mike Phipps says there there's no bluff in California of, spared from this intensifying weather. What do these storms do to our coasts? They cause a lot of erosion. It literally is like a hammer chipping away. It kind of is. The, the waves are powerful and they'll mess with the ocean. Cities already making drastic changes. In San Diego, plans are underway to move the Del Mar train tracks, now considered too close to the coast. And near Santa Barbara, where a collapsing cliff recently forced residents to evacuate their homes at this prime seaside location, several buildings are being rebuilt further from the shore. Would you buy a home here on the coast? Probably not. Not necessarily. Um, just because I don't know where it's going to be 100 years from now. An unknown future with our changing climate. Liz Kreutz, NBC News, Los Angeles. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.